Okay. So, um, for those of you that don't know, um, my name's Will. I'm a Cal Poly alumni. Woo! I just graduated this uh, June, um, June 2013, uh, with my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Yeah! <laughs> and uh, I attended CCF, so, um, CCF. Uh, and yeah, just to reiterate, you know, like what Garrett said, what Danielle said, um, there's other alumni here in this room. Where are the alumni? Yeah. yeah. And um, I just want to, yeah, you know, the reason why we're here is not just for the, the free food, uh, although, I mean, personally, I would uh, come here for Anderson and Bianca's uh, barbecue. But, um, you know, just like Gary and Daniel said, we've been, uh, some of us have been really wanting to see how CCF has been going. Um, and God has used CCF in our lives, um, you know, starting uh, when we were in college to impact us. And so, you know, some of us just felt the calling to come back and, and check up on you guys and, you know, see how each of you are, are doing, um, you know, whether in school or outside of school. And, um, you know, for the most part, we're, some of us are still familiar with the challenges that, um, you know, in college, and at least remember the certain aims. So, um, yeah. So, number two is, you know, we're here to encourage you guys, and... Uh, for those of you who are in CCF already, and for those of you who are just checking it out, looking at CCF, you know, what's CCF? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, for those of you who are already in CCF, you know, we really want you to seek God and use this year to serve Him and get to know Him better. For those of you checking out CCF, um, you know, all we really want is for you to get plugged into a fellowship and uh, get into a church. It doesn't have to be CCF. Although, this is definitely a great place to consider, um, to seek and find God. So, speaking about encouragement, um, my, my form of encouragement to you right now is that I'm going to share my testimony of how God blessed uh, my experience here at CCF. Um, so, so, with that, how God used CCF in my life. Um, just to give you a little background about myself, um, so, yeah, I came in 2008, like I said, um, but I actually came as a materials engineer. I switched. I just made it and I there in materials. That's a good major, but, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I switched to mechanical engineering, um, just to fit, fit my group better, I guess. Um, but, uh, and unlike uh, most people, uh, the high school that I graduated from was actually homeschool, so I was homeschooled then. And also, um, another thing was my, my parents were, were Christians, and um, so most of my, um, my friends, my community growing up were, were Christians. But I guess like, like many, um, I, I was used to Christianity you know, being preached rather than actually lived out. So you know, I knew about God, you know, some Bible stories, and you know, commandments, and a little bit about salvation, but you know, I didn't really understand the full meaning of it all. What what does Christianity really mean? And so uh, this brings me to uh, ex uh, sharing with you then how how God used CCF to to help me on that. Um, the first thing that God used CCF in is. He exposed me to uh, people with sincere and authentic Christ-like characteristics. Um, and uh, so, back as a freshman, um, I, uh, I remember getting, um, how did I come to CCF? I came to CCF actually through three people here, and two of them are in this room. It's uh, Nick Wong. Uncle Nick and uh, Chris Troy and uh, this other uh, good brother Henry. Um and uh, they were the ones that first introduced me to CCF um, and I uh, I just decided to check it out and uh, I hopped into a car I remember I think it was either Nick or Chris Troy and we went off to 
somewhere. You know, it wasn't even on campus. It was this kind of you know, sketchy, and, but I was a guy, so, man, like, I should be okay. But, uh, um, we, we came into this house, um, and it wasn't like this house, you know, this is really nice and grand, it was a really unique house, it was called, we called it, for those in my class and above, we, we called it the, the cat house, because it was on Cat's Street, and, um, uh, it was, it was really strange going in, because, there was a living room, like this, and uh, rooms all over, but uh, the kitchen was upstairs. And so it was, and there was another lounge up there, and it was just, I was always like, befuddled by that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, was a, it was a weird house. But even though it was weird, what, 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 what was even stranger was the hospitality of everybody. And that was, um, that was really weird because um, these these people, these CC efforts, um, you know, here we were freshmen, like uh, who's still here? Like it's me, Cole, Darren. Um, you'll meet some of these guys if you don't know. But um, we were the new guys, and here these CC efforts were just coming up to us and talking to us and really trying to get to know us. And I was like, well, this is. You know, this is really strange. Um, no, nobody usually is that nice. And um, I just remember um, them being really interested, you know, in, in who I was. And I, I didn't think I was really that interesting. If anything, I thought it was like, oh, they must think I'm weird and maybe they're just curious about it. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> but um, and I, I agree. I, you know, I, I do have some weird things. But um, uh, anyway, that hospitality was really was really crazy. I mean, uh, the next day, right? That was a Friday. CCS happens on Friday. The next day, there was this uh, girl from a sister from uh, Transfer Fellowship and named Sarah Chang, and she she invited me out to basketball. They were they started like inviting me to all these things, and it was just. Um, so it's like, why are you doing this? And I guess I thought, well, you know, this is just surface level, you know. Everybody can be super nice. Maybe all they're doing this for is, you know, to boost their, you know, grow their empire. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is their way. They're just going to be super nice and they'll, they'll pull me into all this. And, you know, I get it, you know. It makes sense. But, but you know, um, uh, that, that wasn't uh, the case. Um, I found out otherwise, and um, as I as I kept going to CCF because you know I was interested in, in, who, they, in who these people were, and um, I found out that you know these people actually cared for me, cared for people, um, and it wasn't just a surface surfacey kind of uh, nice um, thing going on, and um, you know first. First way I, I found them caring for me was um, there's a guy here by the name of Rick Wong, <laughs> and um, I always actually share this story, and he <laughs> many times, and he retired it and doesn't think much of it, but it, it really impacted my life. And basically, uh, there was one night, and my hair was like getting super long, and I hate like super long hair, like, this bugs me. That's why I always try to get a haircut, like, if it gets, uh, yeah, it just, it, it just doesn't feel good, and I don't think it looks good, I don't know. But, Rick somehow, like, I don't know, I, I mean, he somehow found out, I don't know, he somehow found out. <laughs> um, you, uh, basic, uh, Rick basically um, uh, offered to give me a haircut. I thought that was kind of weird, like, I mean, but it was, that was, that was cool. And what happened, ended up happening is that Rick came all the way from across, because he lived somewhere across campus, uh, or not, across town, right? And he drove all the way to my dorm. I lived in North Mountain, um, you know, in, in Lassen. And he, you know, uh, parked there and came all the way to my dorm uh, with his hair cutting kit and cut my hair. And um, at the time, he wasn't as like 
It's good. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good experience. But he, he, so he was slower at cutting hair, but that gave him more opportunity just to talk to me. And I just, he really built that relationship. So, um, I'm just going to share with you uh, one more of this, and because it, it really struck me as something, wow, like these people care. Um, in my third year, uh, my roommate and I were sick. And that's pretty ridiculous, I think. It's pretty pathetic because you should, if one person's sick and the other person's well, they should be able to help each other, right? When one's down, you, the partner is supposed to lift each other up. But our case was pathetic. We were both sick, so we could help each other. We were, we were like sneezing. We were um, trying to do our homework and sneezing and coughing. It, it, it sucked. And, and um, all hope was lost. <laughs> but then I get a, uh, a knock, okay? And uh, uh, we, go, we go, one of us um, looked in. It was one of our sisters, and it was actually um, uh, Steph Ng here. And uh, so I hope you guys don't mind. Like, um, I, I, I just want to, well, the reason why I'm, uh, if I ever draw names is because, yeah, this is really personal. It's not just like, um, you know, random people, but she brought us lemon honey tea. Always remember that. Aww. And it was even wrapped up artistic. I was expecting if she would give tea, it would just be in a, you know, in a, a cup or a plastic cup or something. But she really took time to uh, put a ribbon on it and stuff. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. And I, that, that really spoke. CCFers, I noticed, didn't just care, um, you know, physically. They went deeper. Um, these people care spiritually, and and I mean, just starting from you know from the beginning at CCF, I um, old older guys here, um, you know, would invite me to dinner with other freshmen, and they would they would basically um, they'd have us over for dinner. But after dinner, you know, when we helped to bounce and like get back to work or playing our video games, you know, or whatever, they would have us stay and, and, and ask us questions, okay? So, and these were deep questions too. These weren't like, you know, you know, just how school. This was like, how's your walk with God? And if we didn't know what, what that meant, like, they'd explain and, and talk to us about uh, God and what that meant. And, you know... Uh, it was, uh, I think that, that's what, what really um, spoke to me a lot, is that they were in for it for a deep reason. So, with, um, you know, after a while, I guess, uh, I began to think and consider, why, why are these people like this, you know, why? Why are they um, being so nice to me? Why are they inviting me over for dinner? Why are they, you know, giving me haircuts? Why are they, um, you know, sharing their possessions with me like this? And, and really being concerned about, you know, my welfare, my physical, my spiritual welfare. And I learned that, you know, the reason behind all of this was there was actually nothing that they were, you know, trying to gain. It was all selfless, you know. Um, nothing to gain. Like, uh, I was one of those freshmen that would be back at the admin. I, I was on the last one. Like, Gideon and I, I remember, he only did it once, Gideon. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 no. That was our, that was, that was our fault. But, I was one of those, I was one of those, uh, freshmen, you know, that were, was all the way back. And, um, and I'd have to get picked up, and someone like Chris would have to drive all the way, even though CCF's starting, you know, and and, uh, and I'm, I'm making everything late. He'd, he'd go and pick me up, even though he's missing the part of CCF. And, and that happens, um, you know, just that selflessness. Like, why, why do you do that for someone? Um, and, uh, you know, basically what I found out was the reason. These people were... These people were into God. Um, they were into God's love. And they wanted more of it and to share it with others. And 
So, you know, they, this God here that, and who is this God? You know, I was like always curious, okay, like, what, is the, what does God really mean then to them? Like, and, you know, this, this God that we're talking about, that I'm talking about right now, is, he's the God of, of love, peace, joy, strength, compassion, wisdom, uh, power, and, um, you know, and the, the same God that these, all these CCFers that were, were investing in my life, you know, follow. Um, so this chain of events basically um, led me to eventually, I guess, formally commit my life to Christ. I wanted to be part of this. I wanted to, you know, have a relationship with this God that was that powerful, that loving, to, you know, really um, just, um, you know, be the be the reason for, for all this. And so, so that, so, um, it was around my, yeah, in my, in my, um, in college, so I, I, I committed my life to Christ, um, and, but now the, the thing is, though, you know, so Christianity, though, it's not a one-time ticket kind of deal, where you just, like, pray a prayer, and then it's all done, and then, you know, you should, you know, you go and you get to heaven, whatever, it's not like that, you know, um, contrary to the, you know, a lot of people how they what they think, but it's you know when you're committed um, to loving and desiring God, uh, you're committed to a lifestyle basically, um, in which you can experience God even more. And but the thing is, man, when you think about it, boy, that's a that's a challenge, you know. And doing so by yourself, that's that's incredibly hard, if not impossible. And so this is where I learned about the body of Christ, and this is where God used CCF next, okay? Basically, CCF provided me with a support group. Um, and people, uh, brothers and sisters, when I say support group, I mean brothers and sisters who um, were also in the same boat to pursue you know, a deeper and you know, more righteous lifestyle to bring each other into a stronger walk with God. And, um, you know, I, I really, uh, I'm really thankful because, um, you know, there's, there's a few of these people actually that I consider my strong support group, um, from here in CCF, and, um, they're, they're scattered in this room, and, um, these were people that, you know, helped me persevere. And, um, and got me through life's challenges to encourage me to keep, keep on God um, and trusting Him. Um, and, and these were um, people that would, you know, there's people out there who will just, when you tell them your challenges, they'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that sucks, you know, that life, life sucks, you know, that, that's too bad. But, you know, these, these were people, on the contrary, who really, like, listened to me. They listened to me, um, they encouraged me, uh, they, they prayed for me, and, you know, would also follow up. Like, not just leave me, like, oh, you should get over it, right? You know, follow up with me on, on my struggles. Um, you know, and I would uh, try to do the same for them. So, um, all these things here, um, uh, you know, was was just really um, CCF has been really essential. God has used that to rule my life. And the last the last thing that I just want to share is he he used also CCF to provide opportunities for me to serve. You see, the whole idea about serving is you want serving is is your opportunity to experience God more. And um, here at CCF, you know, I got to do, I'm just going to just throw these out there. I'm not going to go in detail, but, you know, I got to, tr um, uh, got to try things like being on the worship team, uh, being on the in-reach team, which means, like, reaching out to people already in CCF. Um, I got to, um, you know, try Bible study reading. And, and these, all these things, by the way, are things that, you know, 
I, I wouldn't say I was good at You know, I was actually really, really scared for all these things, you know, and I was really skeptical about getting in, involved. Um, because I was like, I'm, I'm not fit for this. I'm, I'm really weak. I'm, I'm such a sinner, you know, but um, I guess the thing is, though, is that God used these um, opportunities and to build my trust in Him, you know, and um, build my heart of love for Him, for God, and for others, because I, I didn't have that before. And so, um, you know, at, at, as closing, guys, um, you know, I wanted to share my testimony here. So, um, at the very least, you know, I could encourage you guys and at least interest you in seeking, in knowing, uh, and growing more in God. Um, and his love. Uh, so, CCF is definitely a great place to uh, to do this. And you know, if you feel God's calling or feel the interest to know what what the art this is, or maybe you're already here and you're you want to get involved, you know, don't don't hesitate on this opportunity. And um, I'm just gonna close with uh, this verse. Um, and it, it, I guess I, I like to always have a purpose for everything that I do, and um, this is essentially what I'm um, trying to uh, say to you guys. And uh, this is well, this is God speaking in Proverbs. This is what God says. Um, I love so this is Proverbs 18, 8, 17, and 35. Um, I love those who love me. Um, and those who seek me, find me. For those who find me, find life, and receive favor from the Lord. So, that's key. You know, when, when you seek God, you'll find life. You'll, and, um, right now, you know, uh, just just seek Him, and, and you'll find Him. And that's what God's Word says. So, um, so I just want to, uh, yeah, say, Welcome to uh, you know this this annual event, and we're just so thankful again for Anderson and Bianca and just uh, the leadership team and everybody who's been a part of this and helped out. And we just really want you to find God here. And so um, with that, I'll just uh, let me close again for the night, and I'll turn it back over to uh, to Gary here. So, uh, dear God, uh, yes, uh, thank you so much again. Uh, for this night, and I don't know where everybody here is um, in their, you know, where they are in, in terms of thinking about you, knowing about you, and, um, but Father, you, you, you know, um, you know every every bit about them, and it says, you know, that you um, you know our thoughts when we wake up, and you uh, know when we're gonna get out of bed, um, you. You know what actions we're going to take. And so you know our hearts, God, and you really want us to uh, know and find you. And I pray here for everyone, um, whether they're in college, in CCF, out of CCF, whether they're working, um, wherever they are, God, I, I just want to pray that you'll, you'll guide them and let them know more about you. And, um, and if, uh, if CCF is something where they could uh, be involved, I pray that um, you'll just, you'll just uh, let them know and um, give them the, the strength to uh, uh, get involved uh, here. So, uh, thank you for this night. I pray for the safety of everyone here in Go Home. And uh, Aaron and we pray. Amen.